uh, maybe we should move on. Um, to introduce the next speaker would be Lawrence. So I have the pleasure of introducing our next speaker, who is a very well-known endoscopist and also a well-known surgeon. Uh, he's uh, Professor Inoui. I think uh, everybody knows him. Uh, he's from uh, Showa University, and he's also presently the president of the Japanese uh, Gastrointestinal Endoscopic uh, Society. So I think uh, he's going to share with us uh, the most appropriate topic, which is uh, endoscopic treatment for ecclesia. And uh, everybody knows that he is the inventor of uh, poem. So I'm sure he's going to share with us uh, this uh, topic as well. OK, so this is my disclosure. And we, uh, so we reported the poem procedure 10 years ago. And the procedure itself, a hemomyotomy, that was reported 100 years ago. And then, so we uh, reported the, our data at the time of a 500 to American College of Surgeons. Uh, this is a, please note, uh, the blue aloe. So you can see, uh, so September 8th, uh, 2008, that was uh, 12 years ago. That was uh, our first case. So, creating anterior wall, creating submucosal tunnel, and then now we uh, place the circular myotomy. So this is uh, just after the myotomy. So in this case, we place a very short uh, myotomy, type 1 macalasia, then uh, close the mucosa entry. This is the world first case of a poem. Junction is open. Uh, this is a very uh, swallow before and after poem. Um, this patient, uh, we met him uh, 80 years after procedure. Um, Eckert score uh, improved and the uh, patient gained weight 20 kilogram. Um, this is 80, year, 80 years after procedure. Okay. So, so far in our hospital, uh, last 12 years, uh, we performed the more than 2,000 uh, poem procedure. So first I'd like to mention a little bit about the myotomy rings. As for uh, classic acaragia, uh, Chicago type one, or type two, uh, we, place, we can place a short myotomy like this, very simple. But in the case of uh, like a bigger sacralis here, um, if the patient has the abnormal contraction of the soft tissue body, at that time we have to place a longer myotomy. So like this, we can control the uh, abnormal contraction of the soft tissue body uh, well. And the uh, Dr. Kalidas, and uh, Dr. Pam, they um, uh, mentioned that the uh, type one, type two, and the outlet of, uh, outflow of obstruction, uh, we can choose any procedures. Uh, but for type three achalasia, um, POEM is the best indication. So, based upon the high resolution manometry, the myotomy rings uh, distribute like this, but it looks a little bit complicated. So we summarized uh, the myotomy rings like this. Uh, classic acarasia, type one, type two, uh, we place the uh, uh, LES myotomy. And the, uh, for vigorous acarasia, uh, type three, uh, we place a body uh, plus LES myotomy. In the case of a diffuse spasm, so Jack and myself, we uh, put the LES preserving myotomy. So, a um, uh, point for spastic motility disorders, the success rate from uh, US hospitals uh, was good. So, this is a case of a diffuse spasm. So, like this, before procedure, um, you can see very well abnormal contractions of the soft tissue body. So, in this case, we place a, a long myotomy in, in the soft tissue body. Uh, light, light side is a very smooth flow of the volume. 
So in this case, uh, we stop the myotomy uh, at the level of a uh, uh, starting point of a lower esophageal sphincter. So this is actual endoscopy image. You can see uh, abnormal contractions of the esophageal body like this. So um, left is a submucosal endoscopic view. And the uh, right hand side is the uh, intragastric scope view. You can see a submucosal endoscopy right and the submucosal endoscopy stop the um, tunnel at the level of esophagogastric junction, not, not onto the stomach. Uh, this is the actual myotomy in a posterior war. Uh, we dissect the circular muscle. It was a very thick. And then we continue dissection. Um, this is the uh, very end of the submucosal tunnel. Uh, you can see a very thin circular muscle. That is a beginning of a low esophageal sphincter. Then uh, we stop this level. We, we, we preserve the low esophageal sphincter muscle. And then proximal, we dissect a long, long myotomy. Okay, so in this case, uh, two years after POEM, uh, Eckhart score uh, zero, so controlled well. So like that, success rate of the POEM procedure is uh, um, in a ma major hospitals, uh, 92 to 100% success rate. So it worked, it, it is uh, really good, but uh, potential problem is a postponed GERD, 22 to 53%, 53% in a major hospitals. So how to avoid postponed GERD? So one recommendation, the most reliable one is a double scope method uh, to control the gastric myotomy rings. Uh, we place the uh, two scopes uh, through the uh, patient esophagus. One scope is a submucosal tunnel, the other one is an intragastric and the hip lateral flexion <coughs> like this. So one uh, mother scope is in a submucosa uh, tunnel and then perform myotomy. And then the baby scope is in the stomach and the hip lateral flex position. And then co uh, control the gastric myotomy rings one to two centimeter. This is the same to surgical principle to control the myotomy rings on the stomach, one to two centimeter. So you can see um, the light of the oscilloscope uh, like this, then uh, we can evaluate the, uh, uh, where we are now. Okay, so this is a guideline that I reported already. Anyway, so this is the uh, paper from uh, uh, Dr. Uh, Grimes. Uh, Kevin Grimes, uh, RCT, 100 consecutive cases, a three year follow up. And then, so his uh, results is a gastric myotomy more than 2.5 centimeter uh, cause the increase, increasing rate of a, a moderate and a severe esophagitis. Okay, so anyway, uh, if we control the gastric side myotomy rings uh, res, uh, at around the two centimeter, one or two centimeter, uh, we can avoid the severe reflux disease. So another one is a po poem plus fund application. This is a notes procedure. So, uh, Dr. Toshimori C supported me very well to uh, prepare this procedure. Um, this is our first case. Last, uh, two, three years ago, we did the first case. So far, we performed the, uh, this procedure uh, to uh, 43 patients. Okay, procedure is like this. Okay, I will, I will talk it uh, later. So uh, this is a live demo last year in a ESGE days in a truck. So Dr. Jan Markneck Hospital. So right hand side, you can see this is a doll-like fund application. 
Anyway, so to complete this procedure, we use an uh, endoscopic hand suturing device and the uh, VLOC. And the, we catch, first we catch the, uh, we place a distal anchoring onto the uh, anterior wall of the gastric fundus. And then, so uh, we place the proximal anchor uh, close to um, junction. And then, so we, we find, uh, routinely uh, put uh, two stitches. Okay, this is actual video clip. We place the anterior myotomy first, and then now we are trying to get in the abdominal cavity at the end of the submucosal tunnel. Now we are dissecting the peritoneum like this. So behind you can see back side of the left liver lobe. So this is a uh, really uh, anterior wall of the abdominal esophagus. Okay, and then get in a, a peritoneal cavity. You can see anterior wall stomach. And then we place a um, needle suturing like this. Okay. Um, this is the uh, intragastric scope view. Needle is uh, coming in uh, uh, stomach uh, lumen and then going out to the peritoneal cavity. So before suturing, junction is open. Please note this. And then, so we place a proximal suturing in the submucosal tunnel. So now we catch the light course. Then, uh, uh, like this. Anyway, so we place the uh, proximal anchoring. And then you can see pull the uh, uh, VLOC, and then we can create the uh, um, doe like fund application. This endoscopy image is a very similar to doe fund application. So, um, technical success rate is 100%, 43 cases. And then this is a data of a 24-hour impedance pH. Um, it's uh, in the case of uh, uh, point plus F compared to the uh, point alone, so improved uh, composite score. So this is my last slide. So um, not a totally equal to dough, but the uh, 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 endoscopic fund application can place the anterior partial fund application. So uh, this <laughs> really right. So um, it's a uh, light floor, left, sorry, left, left side. So uh, we routinely place the uh, uh, myotomy in a posterior bore. Uh, so some patient becomes a refractory guard in such a patient. Uh, we can place the uh, um, fund uh, part oral endoscopic fund application in an anterior wall. And the, uh, some patient uh, who has a potential risk of a reflux disease after procedure, that in this, uh, what, I want, uh, what I mean is the uh, a patient, a courageous patient, uh, has uh, together the uh, small hiatal hernia. In such a case, um, poem alone uh, causes uh, severe reflux. Then uh, we place the poem plus fund application together at the same session. So thank you very much for your kind attention. Thank, thanks, uh, uh, Haru. As always, I think um, your presentation is uh, very uh, dramatic. I think now the uh, final application is uh, something which uh, we can only look at with uh, Marvel. Um, I think uh, there are a few questions here. Perhaps I think we only have a few minutes uh, for your for the Q and A here. I think you mentioned about. I think you did mention. There's a question about how long is a short. Mm -hmm. You did uh, mention. Yes. How short? Uh, is, uh, how long is a short mile to me? Yeah, short myotomy means uh, five to seven centimeter. Okay. So the other question relating to this is, uh, I think for type three achalasia, I think generally we we say that uh, we do a long uh, myot, uh, we do a long poem. 
So yeah. how long is a long poem for for uh -huh. text three? So uh, our longest longest mile to me is a uh, twenty three centimeters, starting from the uh, proximal esophagus and uh, uh, onto the stomach. So, but so we decide the myotomy rings uh, based on the uh, um, images. So, volume swallower or high resolution, high, high resolution manometry, and the actual endoscopy image is very useful. Anyway, so um, we have to cover all the abnormal contractions. That's okay. very simple. Okay. Uh, Haru, Haru, can I ask a question? Uh, yes. You mentioned that for uh, spastic disorders, uh, you might do a poem, but then sparing the LES. Uh, wouldn't yeah. that create, uh, firstly, dysphagia, or mm -hmm. in the long run, would it produce a diverticulum? Uh -huh. So, uh, like that. So, um, before performing LES preserving myotomy, uh, we have to confirm the LES function should be normal. In such a case, uh, we perform the LES preserving mild to me. Okay. So for example, it depends on so, uh, the diffuse spasm and the Jack Hammer nuts cracker. So uh, anyway, so high resolution manometry, we have to confirm the uh, uh, LES function. And, and okay. just a technical point about the poem, uh, you yeah. mentioned that maybe we should spare the sling fibers. Mm -hmm. uh, I know that some Japanese surgeons, they also mentioned the two penetrating vessels. Okay. Uh, what do you think of that identification of those uh, two penetrating vessels and sparing the sling fibers? How do you actually do it? Yeah, thank you very much. It's, it's a very, very uh, important question. So uh, two penetrating vessels, they are located level of our esophagogastric junction, uh, but so uh, we can encounter such <coughs> kind of penetrating vessels when we approach posterior, uh, posteriorly. So um, uh, uh, if we can confirm the uh, penetrating vessels, it's a very nice uh, marker of the uh, uh, GEJ, but, but, so in some cases it's uh, uh, difficult to identify the uh, penetrating vessel endoscopically. So in such a case, um, uh, double scope technique and then control the gastric myotomy length in the one to two centimeter is the best way. So uh, today I don't talk, um, not so much about the penetrating vessels. It's uh, sometimes good, but sometimes very difficult to identify.